Let's see what's inside of this place. Oh, okay, this is uh this is going to be sick. Override cauldron door. To understand what's going on in there, you're going to need one of these. Man, she's just giving them away like candy, huh? Also, where does she get so many? On the temple. Just like this. There's blue light on the door. Yeah, it takes some getting used to. Don't worry, Zoe. I hope. Now listen. The machines we've been fighting, they're different. More dangerous. That means there's something very powerful somewhere beyond that door. And it wants us dead. Yikes. Follow my lead. And be ready for anything. They definitely made this look sick. Let's go. Oh yeah. This place. There's so much metal. Who built this place? Machines. Not like any you've seen before. I don't know where to go. Was that? Uh oh, spaghettios. Why is Varl on the bottom? He's gonna die. Varl's gonna die. Oh snap, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm definitely gonna die. Run! Oh my god. What do you mean I have no ammo? Oh, I have the wrong thing on, that's why. Come on, baby. Is there somebody behind me? No. Well, kind of, yes, but it's not. It's not a dino bot. Screw you, dino bot. Oh! Get up! That was a great shot. Not gonna lie, it was unintentional. No. Run. Come on, baby. Varl, you idiot. One down. Oh. Got him. Critical! Dunzo. Was that all of them? So this is a cauldron. Where machines are born. It looks like one, but... If the land gods come and go, then they aren't just made here. They're being repaired, too. And the spirit you're after is in here? Minerva? Maybe. But I have a feeling that's not all. I gotta pick up all the stuff real quick. Okay, let's see what's up here. Luckily, those guys weren't that bad. <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe I should make some new ammo? Nope. All right. Come on, buddy. Where are you at? Those cables are glowing. I've seen them before. They're like an infection. That thing I said it wants us dead. It takes over places like these and makes killing machines. It's called Hephaestus. Even 
Even the mountain is rotted to the roots. Looks like those cables are blocking the way up. What wait. cables? I'll find another path. Okay. Huh. Standing on this floor pillar. Can I? I can't jump up there. So there has to be another way. Let's try to figure this out. I can lock them into place. Make a path up. What gears? Huh. Maybe down here? I'm not a hundred percent sure where I'm supposed to be shooting. How are you doing? I don't know why I did that. That was kind of pointless, to be honest. Oh wait, what's this? To help you and Amy. To find Fala. You did the right thing. Those rotating gears and the pillars. If I shoot them, I'm that so close. I see now. I see what I'm supposed to shoot now. Took a little bit of time, but I got it. Oh. At least I know now. Come here, baby. Let's go. <coughs> that works. Nice. That makes sense. So, can you stand on that panel? I'm pretty sure I have to shoot this thing next. Like this? Good. Stay there. Let's look around, because one of them has to stop somewhere. Oh, it's this one. Okay, so I know where it's it's at now. All right, here it comes. Come on, we got this. Wait, this one. This one should do the same thing, right? We did it. That wasn't that tough. Just uh, a new system that I had to get used to. What's this do? But I can't shoot the gears on the pillars from here. Maybe if I can find something to weigh this down. Okay. Something to weigh this down. Willing to bets up here, maybe? Whoa. This crate should be heavy enough. Grab crate? You know what? Let me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me move it a little bit out of the way. And then now let me go on this side. Whoops, wrong button. My bad, my bad. Can't fit the crate through that opening. Why not? It is big enough. I'm working on it. We did it. Nice. So I can't even get through there. Good to know. Luckily I could just go around. They're not They're not that smart. Might be a way across. Get them into the right position. She is buff. The gears on the pillars should be exposed now. Okay, but where? That is my question. Where are they exposed? Oh, right there. I see you, boo-boo. <laughs> okay, I see one on the bottom, too. I'll get that one next. For now, I'm going to grab this one, since this one's literally the one... 
All right, here comes the next one. Let's go, Aloy. There we go. That was easy enough. How's it going up there, Aloy? Pretty good, thank you. One more set of floors. There should be a floor panel nearby to activate them. This one looks broken. This one's fast. All right, where's this one at? What? You guys saw it, right? Oh, oh, dude, I almost fell. We got it. Can I? Well, that blows. Please tell me everything stayed still. It appears like it did, so I think I'm in a good. I think I'm. St I think I'm fine. All this metal. Cold winter in here. Wait, this is. This is where I fell, right? I should. Ouch. I did it again. Yeah, just have to climb back up now. Okay. So I don't think that's gonna work. So we gotta figure out how to get up higher. Cause that's clearly not gonna work. Let's take a look around. Um... I don't see anything. I mean, in theory, it kind of looks like I'm supposed to be able to, but... Hmm. It has... It has to work. No! Oh, 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 whoa! I'm freaking out! <laughs> Oh my god, that's funny. So that didn't work. What if I do this? Okay, that didn't work. Mm. Let me continue looking. There has to be something I'm missing. But what that is... I don't know. Yeah, because this one doesn't work. Oh! Oh! Was that enough, though? <clears throat> it is. There we go. That was the problem. What I need is berries. They need to give me some berries. I hope so. They're drawing back. We can climb up that vent. Good. Are they staying behind while I go in here then? Twisted around that node on the other side. I'll see if I can get to it. We'll wait here. Let me see. Guess we gotta figure this out. <coughs> Ooh. Are we dead? No. Wait, can I shoot these? No. Did I mess up by coming over here? The beam's retracting, Aloy. 
Yeah, but I think I'm fine here. Hmm. I don't see anything, and I think I might have messed up by jumping it onto this. Let me try to shoot it again. Yeah, that's not working. Let's put some thought into this, why don't we? Mmm. Let's try it. Oh, okay. I guess it was close enough. Okay. Now, how to get up to the node. Okay. I was nervous for no reason. Well, first of all, this thing looks like it could break. Bam. I mean, I got a metal bone. I'm not sure if that's really necessary at this point, but... Whatever, it works. <clears throat> How do I get up higher? That's the big question here. Hmm. Damn. No! How do I get back up there? Are you okay down there? Really? Yeah. Let's go. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. The climbing in this game is ridiculous sometimes. God, dude, I'm not gonna lie, dude. The, the climbing in this game, it feels very, I've said it before, but it feels very dated. That was, that would have been my fault, but. Get up! Oh, that was close. Jump! <clears throat> it's not... It, to be fair, though, it's not horrible. It's just not good, either. Can I climb up onto this? Yeah, because there's this. All right. Let's see what we can do. We made it. We got it. We got it. Come on over, you two. Nice. Very nice. Who is that? Professor. Festus. Like there's another node from the other side. Fine. Through that door. Go do your thing. How to get to that node on the other side? We fly. There's a platform down there. I think I can reach it if I fly. Oh, I see. Okay, so we're at the platform. Now what? Oh, okay, right here. I have to wait for it to come back up. <coughs> Got it. Hurry up. Come on, Aloy. Hurry up and climb before it goes away. There we go. Let me look around and make sure there's nothing. Okay, I don't see anything. I was thinking the exact same thing, Aloy. Even though I barely heard you. Jump! Oh, that was... Oh, 
Where am I supposed to jump onto? <laughs> Where is it taking me? I'm assuming I have to drop down here. I got it, Aloy. Thank you. You don't have to whisper everything to me. You have to trust that I will figure it out at some point. <clears throat> A monster. Taken over facilities before to build deadly machines, but it wasn't always hostile. They used to be part of something good, something called Gaia. Yep. More of those cables covering that door. I think we're almost at the core. Be ready. Got you back. Good. Thank you. I appreciate it, guys. Will be destroyed. If my people see what it has become. If one of our gods attacks them, you know what we have to do. Why can't you just destroy the weapons? Are you ready? Oh, this is a this is a boss fight, isn't it? Oh god. I love the repel. It just has such a cool animation. That landing was sick too, man. Yeah. There should be a node I can override nearby to shut it down. Found it. Oh, we're gonna have to fight the god. God. Wait, can she give me ammo? Oh god, there's more of them! Oh god, they're blowing me up! Holy... I don't even know what she said! Oh god, I didn't even realize I was almost dead. Crap! Let's go! Oh, fuck! I ran right into that one. Drop it. I'm gonna die. There's got to be health around here somewhere. I'm pretty sure this is health. Idiot, <laughs> don't 
don't stand there. <laughs> that was so crap. Oh, what? Oh my god, dude, how many times do I gotta miss? Oh! Up, oh, I'm I'm dead. Right here. We're all right. Oh, I'm not all right. I'm not all right. I'm not all right. I think I know what she said, though. I'm pretty sure she said that we could use the weapons of the big guy to take out the little guy. The little guys. Oh, God. Maybe I should go around and do some quick looting. Before I activate homeboy. Dome of light. Is it protecting the machine? Yeah. There should be a node I can override nearby to shut it down. I'll do that in a second. Okay, let's grab everything we can first. Ooh, look. Really, I need more berries is what I need. You better not touch it. That's mine. He's always gonna have extra. At least I know what to expect now, too, so we have that going for us. Yay. More berries, baby. We have... I think we have enough. Let's, let's do this. I saw that just too late. I can use them against it. Oh, I know what it's saying. I know what she said. <laughs> I'm just not working. Let's get a crit. That didn't do as much as I wanted it to. Nice. Where are they at? You don't say. Holy crap, that was easy now that I did that. Oh, her god is dead. Good night, kind beast who has been turned into a beast. It's still her god. I do not grieve for a god or a machine. But because I no longer know what to believe. Look, so bad. If you want, you can go back home. Do I still have one? Damn. And if so for how long? <clears throat> can you really heal our lands? Save my people. <laughs> We could cure it. One step at a time. 
it starts now. This is it. We're gonna heal this cauldron. It did it not work? Oh, oh, it worked. Wow, that was tough. We need an upgrade. Not bad. Up we go. But there's more. Like Aloy said, this is only the beginning. Aloy, Wait, what? Core. My focus is showing holograms on it. They look like machines. There must be overrides. <coughs> Looks like Hephaestus has been upgrading the security grid on the cauldrons. All the data's been corrupted. Not sure I can do much about that right now. And my focus doesn't recognize some of these. Must be machines I haven't seen yet. Got what you need? Yes. Let's press on then. Nice! So that's the launcher. Let's go ahead and loot these guys real quick. I don't want to leave without my stuff. Did I already loot this guy? I don't even remember looting that guy, but I guess so. Die unlocked. Wait, can you die things in this game? That's that's dope if you could. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Okay, just this way. I thought I was supposed to like go up. Okay, my health is full. Uh, that doesn't sound good. Not at all. Spirit? Minerva? I, I don't think so. At least, not directly. That's just gonna confuse them even more. Attention. All personnel must vacate the facility. Immediately. Something does What exactly was this place? Seen anything like it before? No. Okay, I don't there. see anything, so let's go ahead and go. That's our way out. Error. Unauthorized access. Initiating facility lockdown. Really? What's going on? Well, at least the emergency lights work. What just happened? Minerva's definitely here. And I think it's trying to keep us out. I'll scout ahead. See if there's a way to get us in. Not right sure now? Sure come with you? Well, yeah. Minerva could be dangerous. Let me make sure it's safe. Okay. We'll be right here if you need us. Okay. Oh, it's probably saying I couldn't use it right now. I see. Drop down ledge. If I... Oh, I think I could just drop down, right? Oh, that scared me. I really thought I was going to die. Um... Was I supposed to go up? Oh. Yeah, I was definitely supposed to go up. I'm pretty sure I did this in Horizon Zero Dawn as well. Are you doing okay, Zo? I gotta hear this. Zo? All this. Minerva. Hephaestus. Gaia. <coughs> this is what will help heal plain song? It's hard to explain. I mean, I barely understand it, but yeah. It's what Aloy's been looking for this whole time. Okay. I need to find where Minerva's hiding. I should look for a way to access the facility systems. I feel horrible for her, man. <coughs> Alert. Restricted access. You are not wanted here. Nope. Sorry. You're not 
not getting rid of me that easily, Minerva. Hmm. There's got to be something around here. This is where I came from, right? <coughs> huh. Might be able to pull that open. Come over here. Whoa, look, it's breakdancing. I can feel a draft above. Might be a way out of this shaft. Oh, uh, this looks this looks disgusting. Let me make sure there's nothing in here. Green shine fragment. Have I discovered that before? Can I kick that? No? Okay. It looks like another part of the facility. Door is locked. Well then let's climb up. Oh no, wait. Don't think I'm getting through that door right now. I should turn back. See what else I can find. Hmm. That's disappointing. We reached the dead end, apparently. Let me look around in here. Apparently, there's a way up. <clears throat> Ooh, what's this? And I'm outside. I need to find a way back into the facility. Maybe I could look for a way in higher up the mountain. Yeah, that's where I was going, Aloy. We have the similar mentalities. If I can get Minerva to cooperate, I can merge it with Gaia. Finally bring her back. And we can start fixing the blight, the storms, and maybe she can help me figure out who those strangers in the Proving Lab were. Why did they have a clone of Elizabeth? Why did they want to back up? This is it, right? Jump! I like how, I mean, it looks cool that it turns slow motion, but in reality, it's really, there's kind of no point. It's not like I'm, I have to like do a quick time event or nothing. What ledge? Oh, that one right there? Is it though? Oh, there, I think there's a cave. Okay, let me look around first real quick. I don't see anything, so let's go ahead and go. That was, that was pointless, wasn't it? <coughs> oh, okay, right here. No, wait. <laughs> Aloy, stop. What, what was that? Oh, that was, <coughs> that was a little scary. Not gonna lie, that was 100% an accident. I was just trying to climb. Rocks look loose. I think I can clear them. I was just thinking that as well. Ah, oh, another shaft. Let me look around. No, I don't see nothing. Okay, I think we're good. Well, we're definitely back in the facility. Find a way to plug into this place. Before I do that, I want to check what's on the other side over here just in case there's like some things I could use. It looks like some kind of dome. Wonder what it's for. I don't know. I think this just literally goes into a circle. Wait. I almost missed this. There's another one right there, actually. Whoops. There's no need to for all the theatrics, Halo. You could have literally just grabbed it. What is this? Insert Gaia Colonel? <coughs> Oh. 
Minerva, I need the console. Please. Access denied. It didn't used to be like this. Do you remember it? Anything? You were part of something bigger once. <clears throat> something good. Gaia. That's right. She can live again. But only if you give her the chance. I can't reboot her without you. I... Cease. I think you'll disappear into her. Become part of her, like you used to be. That's okay. That's nice. Aww. <coughs> she, she feels pain. Thank you, Thank you Minerva. <laughs> Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring Minerva function to original code. Do you wish to initiate heuristic matrix? Here goes. It's working. <laughs> Gaia. Greetings, Doctor Sobek. Uh, I'm a woman. Scanning data. Oh, Stadio. Discuss, but initialization of my heuristic matrix will <coughs> not be complete for several minutes more. In the meantime, I suggest you familiarize yourself with this facility. It is our best option for a base of operations, and you can make use of its equipment to improve your ability to override machines. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, that, that sounds good. Shall I grant access to your companions? They will be here shortly. Um... Okay, but... Don't overwhelm them, okay? They don't have a lot of experience with things like... Well... You. You. fake this time no this time she's real yay well, so <coughs> this is Gaia hello hi hi Gaia's still uh, waking up let's look around I will highlight the location of the lab on your focus That's awesome. I have established a network between your focuses, <coughs> allowing you to communicate when apart. Good. So what was this place? I want to talk to her. A regional control center, where Zero Dawn Progeny would have overseen terraforming operations in the area. Okay. Is that it? Okay, let's talk to her. Maybe we'll get some new stuff. <coughs> Until my initialization is complete. Okay, we'll do then, Gaia. I guess we're gonna have an opportunity to talk to her later, perhaps? I don't know. But I'm happy, because we finally restored Gaia. <coughs> Alright, what am this? I? This was intended as the main gathering space for control center operatives. 
You could fit a good number of people in here. Or maybe just a few. To start with, you two go ahead. I'm going to poke around a bit. So this was supposed to be the lab. That was its intended purpose. Some of the machine data you recovered from the repair bay below us appears to be corrupted. Accessing the terminal in this room will show you how to repair and complete the override. I'll take a look. Okay, yeah, I had a feeling this was something. <clears throat> Fabrication terminal? Oh, I could... <gasps> I can make machines? We... What do you... Uh... We'd like to set this job as your active quest. Hold on, real quick. Uh, an acquisition machine that plows the soil before sowing fertilizer and seeds. It leaves a trail of fast-growing plants and a cloud of dust that can be used for stealth. I don't... I don't think I need this. <sighs> Looks like I need data from machine parts to fix the corrupted override. My initialization is complete. You may continue to explore the facility, Aloy. When you are ready, return to the control room. We have much to discuss. Yes, we do. However, I only looked at one like thing. Office. Correct. The facility was designed with a number of private offices. I guess it's nice to have a space to call your own. Okay. Let's see what she's... I want to see what she has to say with, for all these rooms. This would have been <clears> an <throat> access point for advanced training modules on terraforming operations. Unfortunately, those modules were deleted when the Apollo database was destroyed. That's too bad. Uh, let me see... I don't see anything. Okay. Okay, this is interesting. <coughs> Showers, maybe? What's this space for? Living areas. This would have been the sleeping quarters for control center operatives. Reminds me of the bedhouse aspirants had to sleep in the night before the proven. Nothing in this area, I guess? <coughs> I guess this is just for... Us to get a feel of this area. I don't think there's actually going to be anything here. Because this looks like a little living area. Can I go in here? Why doesn't this door have power? At my current operating level, I am only able to restore functionality to part of this facility. In time, that may change. Got it. Okay. I'm assuming that's the same. So this place was here all this time. Built for people who would never show up. Why didn't they? Remember that guy I told you about? Ted Farrow? He... Sabotaged things. It wasn't supposed to be this way. Looks like another office. If no one's ever been here, who built all this? Gaia did. With the help of machines. That's... That in itself is interesting. Okay. So what's this place? Through that door is a trail <coughs> that leads towards Plainsong. So I could head back east if I need to, once we're done here. Correct. <coughs> oh. Wait, what's over here? Isn't this where I came from? I think so. Pretty sure that's where I came from. So let's go back this way. And talk to Gaia. Maybe it's time to talk to Gaia. It absolutely is. Hello, Gaia. Hello, Aloy. <coughs> Hi. So you're... ready? Yes. <coughs> Initialization is complete. All tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. Yay! You must have many questions. Yeah. But 
two big ones first. That's literally all the options I have. Uh, <clears throat> subordinate functions. We're not going to be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your subfunctions at the Hades Proving Lab, but Minerva was the only one I found. Thankfully, the sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. Transmitting query pattern. <coughs> Receiving. Oh, we have our hands full. <sighs> of Apollo, Artemis, and Aluthia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. What about the others? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach. Procurable. Okay, so we only need three? <coughs> and Hephaestus? It too stands revealed, but it is not like the others. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> In the years since the extinction signal, Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet, making it exceptionally difficult to subdue. Let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. Damn. So we start there? Unfortunately, we cannot. We end there. Procuring Hephaestus can only be attempted after my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. We end there. Grab the other subordinate functions first, then Hephaestus. Precisely so. So, Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. <coughs> exactly as you did with Minerva. You must use the master override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility. The cartridge the root kernel was stored on? Yes. Its capacity is limited, so it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. But in all other respects, it will suffice. Okay. Good to know. Well, tell me about the strangers then. I'm definitely curious about this one. <clears throat> Maybe you can help me make sense of something. A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of... strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors and a, um... a, a clone of Elizabeth Smith <clears throat> with them. Yes, this was recorded by your focus. That was so weird. <clears throat> Do you know who they are? The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades, prompting my predecessor's self-destruction. The extinction signal? Okay, that sounds ominous. The signal did not come from Earth, Aloy. The moon, maybe? <clears throat> The calculations are complicated, but it appears to have originated 81 trillion kilometers away. A distance so vast that light itself requires 8.611 years to cross it. Wow. <coughs> What's so far away, and, and why does it want us dead? The Sirius star system. Sirius? <clears throat> but that's where Far Zenith, their ship. The Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. Unless it didn't. Unless... <clears throat> I don't... 
Why make it seem like they failed? They didn't want anyone to know. They didn't want future humans to think that they were out there. Wait. The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? Are you saying that they're from... That they're descendants of... <clears throat> yes, that is my conclusion. Wow. <clears throat> wow. Okay, uh, the biosphere. What is the state of the biosphere? Is the terraforming <clears throat> system functioning at all? In a sense, the terraforming system never stopped functioning. The difference, since my predecessor's destruction, is that there has been no central governing intelligence to monitor its robotic agents and assign new tasks. As a result, errors have accrued, and day by day, the biosphere has gradually <coughs> veered ever more sharply towards destruction. In recent months, disturbances in the biosphere have become obvious. But these bellwether phenomena offer just the merest glimpse of the complex and accelerating cycles of environmental dysfunction, now driving Earth's biosphere towards <coughs> collapse. Then you can't do anything to stop it. If you can return Ether, Poseidon, and Demeter to me, I can improvise modest corrections to parts of the system. Weather will improve. Water will be purified, <coughs> and rampant plant growth curtailed. But such corrections will not stave off collapse. They will only buy us time. Only with Hephaestus can I design and produce new robotic agents designed to permanently reverse the damage that has accumulated. We need the full system. All efforts <coughs> must be directed toward that end. How long do we have? How long do we have then? At present rates, without additional factors, the biosphere will cross a point of no return in approximately four months. And if I gather Ether, Demeter, Poseidon, merge you with them? We will only gain a few months more. Well, every bit counts. Wow. <coughs> All right, we'll do this in the order in which we went, because I'm very curious about this. But let's let's start here. Questions about subordinate functions. Uh, the subordinate functions you did you detected. The three <coughs> subordinate functions that you detected. What do we know about them? All three are relevant to problems currently plaguing the biosphere. Ether is responsible for detoxifying the atmosphere and moderating the weather. Poseidon controls the organic and chemical composition of water resources. Demeter sows, fertilizes, and tends to plant life. If all three were restored to me, they would constitute a massive increase to my heuristic processing density. But beware. Their responses to my query pattern were... irregular. In human terms, they are <coughs> frightened, lost, and paranoid. Like Minerva. They need to be whole again. Exactly. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, the missing subordinate functions. <coughs> the missing subordinate functions. What can you tell me about them? Artemis rewilded the Earth with a variety of animal species. Eleuthia was responsible for gestating, nurturing, and acculturing a new generation of human beings. Apollo was tasked with preserving, organizing, and disseminating vast archives of human knowledge and cultural achievements. Unfortunately, all archived Apollo data was purged on the 2nd of February, 2066, by order of Ted Pharaoh. Pharaoh, huh? I really hate that guy. <laughs> Understandable. He appears to have been pathologically narcissistic, You don't say. ...and unstable. Yeah, I agree All with that assessment. Three of the missing functions have already served their purpose, or were prevented from doing so. Do you still need them? 
If attainable, yes. Restoring their remaining elements would increase my heuristic processing density. Unfortunately, I have no way to track them. They have disappeared without a trace. There has... That suggests that they are out there somewhere. But she can't track them. So that would... Assuming... I'm assuming, of course... That would fall up, to, uh, fall onto us to discover these locations. So I'm very curious to know if we can get those three subordinate functions. That would be cool if we can, because if we can get her to maximum capacity or whatever, or maximum optimal function skills, if you will, that'd be great uh, for the longevity of humanity. You know, about Hephaestus. <coughs> you said you need Hephaestus to save life from extinction. Why? Every subordinate function has value, but Hephaestus is by far the most important. Only by recovering and merging it can I regain my ability to design and mass-produce new machines at cauldrons across the planet. Only through it can I program new machines and alter the tasking of existing machines to completely reverse environmental damage. Recovering other subordinate functions may buy us time, but without Hephaestus, I cannot permanently stave off mass extinction. Damn. So, why wait to subdue Hef uh, Hephaestus then? <coughs> Given Hephaestus's importance, is there really no way to capture and merge it first? I'm afraid that is quite impossible. In my present state, launched and merged with Minerva, I am operating at less than one-fifth. 18.8% of my intended processing capacity. Hephaestus dwarfs this figure. Were an attempt made to conduct the merge under these circumstances, Hephaestus would absorb me rather than the other way around. A merge cannot be attempted until my heuristic processing density exceeds its own. And how many subordinate functions is that going to take? Three. Merging Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon will expand my heuristic network to 41.6% capacity, exceeding that of Hephaestus. How do we trap Hephaestus? You we already know the Hephaestus answer to this. isn't located in just one place. Correct. Unlike the other subordinate functions which are confined to discrete physical processors, Hephaestus is distributed throughout the global network that connects the planet's cauldrons. <coughs> so, when the time comes to subdue it, how do we make that happen? I do not know. While you are retrieving the procurable subordinate functions, I will attempt to find a solution. Could Hephaestus help defeat, uh, the Zeniths? <coughs> so, once Hephaestus has been recovered and merged, you'll regain the capacity to mass-produce machines at cauldrons around the world. Yes. And to program their behavioral routines, or even control them directly. So, could you build an army of machines? Attack the descendants of Far Zenith and take them out? It is in my nature to take any and all necessary steps to preserve life on Earth, human life above all. So, so that's yes. a yes. Once I have been empowered with the capacities of Hephaestus, <laughs> I could design build and command such an army given the nature of the far zenith threat doing so may be our only option i must admit however that i have misgivings about using such technology to kill no matter Me too. how aggressive the enemy mm. whoa that's good <coughs> it means you have a conscience as elizabeth intended indeed i mean I get it. I have reservations about using the technology to, to kill them. Maybe we could have some diplomatic influence over them to help potentially have them change their mind. However, if they can't have their minds changed, we might not have a choice. And in that case, <clears throat> we have to do what we got to do, right? So questions about the Zeniths. It's a perfect transition, actually. Ended on the Zeniths, and now we're going back into... The Zenith. The Far Zenith is a descendant's plan. <coughs> the sole purpose of the signal was to destroy life on Earth, right? Why would descendants of Far Zenith want to do that? At this point, we can only speculate. 
I mean, Earth posed no threat to them. We don't have the technology to get in their way. We didn't even know about them. True. Unless... Well... Could it be that they want the planet for themselves? The strangers I ran into, they were after a Gaia backup of their own. I mean, if they did that... If they booted their own Gaia and boosted her power... Until she could take control of Hephaestus... And then the whole terraforming system... Then yes, the system could be used to do what the extinction signal failed to accomplish. Snuff out life, and then <coughs> potentially rebuild an entirely new biosphere. To their specifications. So they could be trying to do the same thing we are. But with opposite results. Extinction. Instead of salvation. Well, this is not good. Mm, not at all. Okay, so how are the descendants getting here? You said Sirius is <coughs> really far from Earth. 81 trillion kilometers, or 8.611 light years. Right. So, how would the descendants have gotten here? On a spacecraft much like the Odyssey, though significantly more advanced. The journey from Earth to Sirius would have taken the Odyssey almost 300 years. This appears to have been much faster. If their ship departed Sirius at the same moment the extinction signal first began transmitting, the journey was made in just 29 years at an average of 0.297 the speed of light. Hmm. If they did not set out for Earth until they learned of the extinction signal's failure, the journey was even faster, a mere 13 years, or 0.662 the speed of light. How are they okay, moving so okay. fast? You're making me <coughs> spin. Um, uh, let's talk about the clone. The descendants I ran into at the Hades Proving Lab, they... They had a clone. Of Elizabeth Sobek. So that's consistent with the idea that they came here to salvage Zero Dawn technologies, right? Yes. As your own experience demonstrates, the clone of Elizabeth Sobek functions in effect as a key to the terraforming system. But... How could they have made a clone? The Odyssey carried approximately 200,000 human zygotes, millions of animal zygotes, and billions of plant seeds. It is conceivable that Elizabeth Sobek's genetic material was sampled, with or without her knowledge, and carried aboard the ship in storage. That's... Okay, but... I mean... This, this clone... How could she participate in this? Destroying Elizabeth's dream? It's... It's evil. It didn't even look like she was wanting to do it. Perhaps she is loyal <coughs> to the group and shares their objectives. Or perhaps she is a subordinate and has no choice but to comply with their orders. Pretty sure that's Elizabeth it. Sobek? A subordinate? I don't think so. Well, you gotta remember, when we met her, she looked very timid scared and clearly she wasn't acting on her own free will she was being forced essentially to do whatever it was that she was doing right to get the the the, the stuff that they needed right and it clearly at least it's what it appeared to me it looked almost as if the people controlling was the zeniths right so i don't know uh well wouldn't she be considered a zenith too though i don't know uh yeah it didn't look like she was acting on her own free will so there's that i could be wrong but i guess we'll find out later i'm just saying what it appeared to be from from my seat let me know what you guys think down in the comment section by the way <clears throat> is she doing it willingly to help them out or is, did, did it seem like she was being forced to but anyways uh the signal and other subordinate functions the extinction signal didn't just wake hades it made every subordinate function self-aware. Why? I have wondered this myself. <coughs> so far as I can tell, Hades was the sole target, and the partial sentience imparted to other subordinate functions was incidental. Hmm. So the signal could only have been sent by someone who had thorough knowledge of the system, huh? Yes. The signal's design was exceptionally precise and highly advanced. Were its intentions less malevolent, I would admire the intellect or intellects that produced it. 
That's interesting. Uh, so how did you track the signal? How did you figure <coughs> out that the extinction signal came from Sirius? The key came with data on your focus from Silence interrogation of Hades. The duration of the signal itself, 17.22 years. <sighs> that doesn't make sense. You said that the signal took 8.6 years to arrive from Sirius. Why would the signal keep transmitting after it was received and you blew yourself up? Because the sender didn't know that had happened until it received notice from Hades. Which would take another 8.6 years to get back. There and Correct. back, yeah. Only then <coughs> did the sender stop broadcasting after a total of 17.22 years. So the duration, halved, gave me the distance the signal traveled. With that in mind, I simply scanned my astronomical database for any relevant location 8.6 light years away. Because it was far Zenith's intended destination, Sirius was the only logical source. I agree. I mean, I was going to say she's really smart, but she's a computer AI designed to do this kind of stuff, so... I mean, it's pretty obvious she would come up with that conclusion but yeah it's pretty logical to suggest or to assume that it came from from Sirius right uh, it makes perfect sense but regardless okay uh far this technology so if the descendants <coughs> came to earth on a spaceship I guess we can assume that their technology is powerful in all sorts of ways right yes as your encounter with them at the proving lab amply demonstrates they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. I've noticed. No kidding. The one I fought seemed indestructible. Throughout history, every defensive technology has eventually been defeated by an offensive counterpart. For example, assuming I absorbed Hephaestus and utilized it to create a large force of combat machines, no shielding could withstand such an assault indefinitely. So there's hope. Seems like it. <clears throat> okay, so that's everything we have. Well, let's get started then. I guess I should get going and start bringing back subordinate functions. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate function sought physical processors capable of holding them. So in each case, you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. Ether is the closest, and therefore might be the easiest to acquire. However, it appears to be in the middle of Tanakh territory. Of My course. of that tribe is limited to data I read on your focus, but they seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. <laughs> well, that's a nice way to put it. What about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of this location. My substratal geography data indicates that a major old world settlement called Las Vegas was located there. A ruin in the middle of the desert, huh? Strange place for an AI devoted to water. Agreed. That's true. <laughs> As for Demeter, it appears to be located on the coast to the far west. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay, so three subordinate functions to go after. Ether, somewhere in Tanakh territory. Poseidon in the desert, and Las Demeter Vegas. on the coast. Where will you begin? Am I... Am I over level 24? You know what? I'm, I'm just going to go in order of level, right? So Aether's the closest and it's level 17. So we might as well start there. Then Poseidon. So we'll be going to Las Vegas afterwards, which I'm kind of excited. Hopefully we'll see uh, a certain computer with a gigantic face of a person who set up his own casino. And three gangs in the area. You guys can put that together. And then to the West Coast with Demeter. So let's go. Let's start with ether <clears throat> I think I'll head for ether then I will assign ether as the objective on your focus if you obtain it I may be able to use it to quell the most severe storms in the region 
Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. I do, don't I? Is something wrong? Um... I don't know. It's just that... Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and... A lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Do you think I can do it all? No! You need Depend friends! The system, defeat Varzenith? Live up to her example? Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in your success. In you, all things are possible. So she's God. You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system core. You will prevail in this. Thank you, Kaya. Well, I, uh, I guess I should get going. I have unlocked the facility's exits. One leads onward to the west. The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. Well? Whoa! Gonna have to get used to that. That's you, Eloy? <laughs> uh, yeah. The guy has opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zoe meet me by the west door? Be right there. I kind of established the base. Let me see that real quick. Uh, secured a base of operations and rebooted Gaia. 10% of people went through that. That's interesting. Like, low-key, I kind of really, really hate that about this game so far. It, the fact that Aloy is looked at as or treated almost like a god, you know, that nobody can do this. Well, I understand why she's the one that has to do this, right? The, the, the spearhead, the primary, right? But I hate that because of it, it is assumed that she doesn't need any help or assistance by anyone. Like, we get a smattering of help here and there, right? From Varl and various other people. But she's just too headstrong to the point where she feels like she doesn't get any help. Or she doesn't need any help from anyone. I kind of hate that, man. Everyone, even the strongest people on Earth, period, need help and support from other people. Right? And she's not invincible. She's still... She may be a clone... And she may be the one, but at the end of the day, she's still a person, right? She's still flesh and bone. To assume that she can just live through all of this, especially with machines, is kind of ridiculous, to say the least. So, I don't like that, and I hope... I've gotten hope throughout the gameplay so far that... That it might change by the end of the game. But then you have situations like this that kind of destroy that hope. And then you talk to Varl, for example, who wants to help. And it kind of gives me a little bit of hope. So it's kind of like teetering. It's going back and forth. And I'm not entirely sure where the gameplay is going in terms of that arc, that storyline. So I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong in this. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. But personally speaking, I really hate that she's this godlike figure in this game, you know? It's kind of annoying. <clears throat> okay, I need to bring Ether back for Gaia. Varl and Zoe are waiting for me by the west exit. But I could head back east first, check on how Plain Song's doing after the attack. Or I could also look around here some more. Do I want to go to Plain Song? I don't want to go to Plain Song. I'm pretty sure I've already done everything in Plain Song. Yes, I think it'll be better this way. They're breaking up. After you, Aloy. Man. Oh, that looks gorgeous. I need to head further west. To, um, get more of Gaia's components. Make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime. 
Gaia can help get you up to speed. I'm not trying to shut you out. This, it's like... training. Actually, I'm gonna go back east to get Erend. Bring him here. Look, allies, friends... Yes! Yes! We have a place to stay now. And like you said, Gaia can teach us. Catch us up. <coughs> It'll be okay. Okay. Take these then. One to wear, one for backup. While you're at it, stop by Stone's Echo and look for Milu. Give her a message for Talana that I found a way over the mountains. Will do. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. I get it. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Looking forward to it. I love these two so much. I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clan lands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Good hunting, Aloy. She's God, after all. We all know she's gonna be fine. She's God. But see, Varl makes exactly the points that I'm making. She needs friends. She needs support, Tanakh you know? Clan lands. <coughs> Somewhere out there's three of Gaia's sub-functions. And who knows what else. Let me go ahead and uh, uh, upgrade some stuff real quick. So we have a lot to do. So heavy weapon. This would have came in handy. That last boss. Ammo expert. Craft more ammunition at the same amount of resources. Resources have never been a real problem. But we're going to need it to get this ultimate, right? Uh, Triple notch. I'm getting this. Sustained burst, unleash an entire clip of bolts while immobile. That's what the bolt caster though. Um I'm, I'm gonna do it. Can I get any of these? I could, I could get ammo expert. I might as well grab this one. Okay, so in two more we're gonna be able to get this. So I want to complete this one before I move on to the next. What is it called? So I'm doing Hunter. That's more of my combat stuff. And then Infiltrator. This is more of my stealth stuff. So there's that. Uh, Sea of the Sands. Open quest menu. Oh, these are the... the, the. Yeah, these are the three. So let me see. How do I... Check this on the map? There we go. All right, so that's this one. They're really not that far apart. I kind of want to go to Las Vegas, though. I'm not going to lie. Hopefully, we find New Vegas. Oh, no, wait. Poseidon was New Vegas. Yeah, because Poseidon water in the desert. But that's also the, the hardest one, right? Oops. No, Demeter. Demeter was the hardest one. Poseidon was the second. Hey, I mean, logically, it makes sense that we do this one, though. Okay. So let's, uh... Let's go ahead and head out. Well, we're level... We're level 15. So we are actually under leveled for this so maybe i should have maybe we should have went back to plain song is this plain song i didn't check the thing The base. Can I fast travel to the base? I should have went back to Plain Song. Ah, okay, whatever. I'm almost certain I'm gonna find some more. What is this? Oh, 
Oh, that's cute. Who are these guys? Race? Well, they definitely don't sound like rebels. Maybe if I follow their tracks, I can find out where they're headed. I don't really I don't really want to. Rebel camps. I can probably okay. use my focus to follow the tracks those riders left behind. Nah. You let me take a look at you, stranger. Can I can I not activate this? There we go. Quick save. <clears throat> out on a good trade Ooh, absolutely uh, so she had he had or a sentinel seen as mine's only green this could have been potentially useful okay I think we're good. <clears throat> I don't really... Whoa, that looks... That looks cool, man. The lighting in this game is amazing. Do I want to fly? I think I'd rather just glide. Do I want to glide? I want to talk to this girl and see what she wants, but it's not tell... It's not... I'm trying to talk to you, but you're not let- Okay, screw it. Let's go.